Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm filming a kind of natural holiday makeup look. So this is kind of a look that is a little bit more dressy for the holidays, but at the same time, it's a little bit more, like, everyday, kind of. So I actually found this palette in my room the other day. I've had it for a long time. It's this CoverGirl palette, and it is in the color Pure Romance, and it's this quad, I think. Quad is, right? Ah, uh, what are you? I think it's a quad. It's a quad four. I think. I don't know. It doesn't say. Anyways, it's a little palette. It has four different shades, and it's kind of like a purple theme. And I just really want to use it, because I haven't used it in a long time. So, yeah, I went ahead and did my face makeup, because I do know these don't have fallout, if I remember correctly. And so I went ahead and did my face makeup and my eyebrows, and I went ahead and tight-lined, because I wanted to have a tight line. And I didn't want to stop just do that when it came to it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to take this flat brush from Bare Minerals, and I'm just going to pick up the lightest shade which is kind of just like a cream color, which is right here. I'm going to put it all over my lid. It's kind of like a base color. And then just kind of blend it out a little bit with my finger. Also, I posted a video on... When was it? Wednesday. It was Wednesday. And I said I had stayed home that day. And I was going to try and start getting a video up every single day since then. That didn't happen. <laughs> I can't explain why. Which I know you're all tired of excuses. But, yeah. So, Thursday I was going to film after I got home from school. But I ended up going home second period. Because I got really, really dizzy and I was throwing up and everything and I just didn't feel well. So they sent me home. They thought I had the flu. But it turned out I have an inner ear infection in both ears. And the doctor had me stay out yesterday. And yesterday I spent most of the day with my grandfather. Um, so yeah. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one kind of all over my eyelid itself. Trying to keep it out of the crease. And I'm just using an e.l.f. flat brush for this. And when I was with my grandpa, I didn't kind of want to film while I was there. And I didn't have time to film beforehand. So, I was just spending time with him. And if you're wondering, he is in a... He was in a nursing home for a while, and then they thought he had a blood clot in his legs, so they took him to the hospital, and they did an ultrasound, and then they took him to a different hospital. I don't want to say where, because it'll give out kind of, like, close to my location of where I actually live. Um, he, they took him to a different hospital to a psychiatric geriatric center. Um, and he's been there since Wednesday, and they have been helping him so that he can kind of start remembering things, and also so that he's not so aggressive whenever he gets, has, um, a stroke, like, one of the mini strokes that he has, <sighs> and stuff like that. Next, I'm going to take this purple shade right here. And I'm going to put it kind of halfway through my eye over to the outer corner. Just with the Spare Minerals flat brush again. Which if you're wondering the exact shade, like the exact name, it's a tapered shadow brush. And I absolutely love this brush. It puts the shadow on amazing. Like... Is so good to just pack on the shadow with. So he'll probably be at this place for like, they said up to 10 days, but it could be more, it could be less. 
and then from there we'll decide if he's coming home or going back to the nursing home or what. So yeah, I'm hoping he'll be able to come home though for Christmas. Even if it's just kind of like a trial thing, I really want him to come home. So there's kind of the purple, and then I'm going to be taking this eye blending brush, which is kind of a little bit more smaller than my normal blending brush that I use, and I'm just going to be taking this brown shade right on this last color, and I'm just really going to pack it on. I'm not really going to blend out or anything, just kind of really get it in my crease and everything. And I've been really loving this blending brush instead of my one from LA Colors lately because since it's smaller, it allows me to get into the inner corners better. And since it's a brown and not a black, it'll make it so it's a little bit more natural and really good for during the day. And I guess it did have a little bit of fallout. I didn't realize that. That's pretty much the eyeshadow done for on top. I'm going to put a little bit more underneath my eye once I do my eyeliner and stuff. So the eyeliner I'm using today, of course, is my NYC High Definition Liquid Liner. And I don't have a mirror. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Um, so I guess I'll just use my camera. So I'm just kind of slightly winging it out, not too much, but a little bit. So it's just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do sorry, my nose itches. My mascara. And this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I forgot my eyelash curler over on the counter, and I'm too lazy to get up and get it. So I'm just going for it. And since this look is a little bit more natural, I'm not using false lashes, but I am going to pile the mascara on to make them stand out more. And my eyes are still watering. My allergies are really acting up as well. So. That's why there's a lot of black underneath my eyes right now. Because it was like the minute I put my mascara on, it was just like waterfall. And actually, fun fact. I'm actually filming this video. And while this video is uploading, I'm going to be filming another one. 
uh, which is tomorrow's video because I don't have time to film tomorrow. <laughs> but now I'm going back into this palette right here. Now I'm going to take the brown shade on a defining eyeshadow brush, which is just an angled brush. And I'm just going to put it underneath my eye. like that and then I'm also going to take it just because no I'm not because it's got brown on it now mm, where's my other brush I'm going to take this kind of pencil brush and I'm just going to take that cream color and put it on my brow bone to highlight and in the inner corner Which I would highly recommend this palette. I love it. I'm so glad I found it. Alright, what's the next? Contouring. Why did I say it like that? It's weird. I'm going to be taking my Perfusion Contouring Palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to be taking this lighter shade right here. And a little angled brush. No, no. Taking this brush from e.l.f., which is a professional powder brush. I'm just going to get some of my brush and blend away. And I'm not, like, as highly contouring. I'm mostly just kind of bronzing. But at the same time, contouring a little bit. Put it on my forehead. Near my chin. And then I'm going to be taking this brush looks like this. I'm going to take the same color and contouring my nose. And then just blend it out a little bit with my finger. Okay. So there's the contouring. And now for my highlighter, I'm going to be taking this angled brush right here and taking this kind of champagne color, I guess, right here. And using it kind of as a blush as well. Well, actually, I'm going to take this pink beside it and use it as a blush, even though it's a highlight. So just like that, and then I'll take a little bit of the other color on just the side of it and put it right on top of my cheekbones. And then, these have so much fallout. I have something in my eye. Ugh. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of the... I'll wait. I'm going to take a little bit of this, of the one that I used to highlight on top of my cheekbones and just put it on my nose, like just on the tip and then the bridge. So just like that. Can't tell? I love highlighting. It's my favorite part. <laughs> and then for lipstick I'm using the Revlon color stay lipstick in the color ripened red
which I absolutely love this red lipstick. It's like so perfect. It's like that classic red color. And then on top of that, I'm using an LA Colors lip moisturizing lipstick in the color Red Alert, which is just a red lip gloss, just because I really want to use this for some reason. And I'm just going to put it on. And this will just start darken it up a little bit, but still make it look really glossy and everything. So this is the final look. I really like how this look came out. Came out. How this... I can't even talk. I really like how this look turned out. Um, I like how it's really natural in the eyes. So you have that kind of everyday look. But at the same time, you have like the red lip. So it makes it like holiday kind of. And I feel like this would be... Oh man. I feel like this would be perfect for just like Christmas morning... Or just for, like, Christmas Eve if you're going to, like, a family get-together um, where it's not really, like, a party. I feel like this would look really nice. Also, I feel like you could easily just add, like, if you wanted to wear this during the day. And then if you were going to a party that evening, you could just add some black through the crease and then some falsies. Like, before you leave, then you would have, like, the perfect look. So it would be like a two-in-one kind of. And yeah. So I think that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I upload every single day, pretty much. And all my links are below if you want to follow me on anything. And yeah. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos that you would like to see. Or any specific looks you would like to see. You can leave those in the comments below. And I would definitely do them for you guys. And yeah. I think that's it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!